So the one question that I get from teachers is how do I embed the personal math trainer from the GoMath series into Canvas LMS without having my students log into Think Central every time? And so you can do it, but they won't receive any reports, they won't receive any grades. So I use it as practice. I use it almost like an interactive worksheet where the kids will get instant feedback. And this really, really establishes uh, student ownership of their own work. And so the first step into doing this is to create a folder on your desktop. And you'll right click on your desktop and go to new folder. And then let's name the folder personal math trainer. So once you name this folder, you're going to need also the snipping tool and you also need Google for your Canvas account and your Interact um, Think Central account. And so these, th these three things you're going to need um, in order to, to do this. And so let's go back to your, your interactive. So this is what it looks like when you sign into your Think Central account. And so you can go to either, either grade. I'm going to go to fourth grade and I'm going to click on personal math trainer. And when I click on Personal Math Trainer, you have a lot of different options. And so course base, you can go through the different chapters in the book if you're following the book. You can go to Performance Task from Chapter Performance Task. You can do that. You can go to Standards Base. And this is the one that I like um, based off standards. But like I said, you can. each state will be different. Tennessee will be different in North Carolina, from Georgia, from Florida. But I like to go to this one and look at the standard that I'm working on. So let's go to MBT. Let's look at MBT4. As you notice, there's two, um, there's two personal math trainers that you can assign for M M MBT4. So homework and testing quizzes. Now testing quizzes, you're going to have a few problems. I like to do the homework and it's almost like classwork for me. And when you click on it, it's going to open up and so you can actually see how many questions that you will have in the personal math trainer um, and as you can see there's 10 questions and so for me that's 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 phenomenal I love having that many questions um, and so now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to you're going to click on your snipping tool and now this snipping tool let me bring this down a little bit more so we can see it there okay this snipping tool will um, let you snip or copy freeform image, a rectangular snip, a window snip, a full snip. I like to use rectangular snip. And so when I click on that, when I click on new for your snipping tool, it's going to allow me to copy the image. And I like, I love for the students to see the image that they're clicking on. Um, so I'm going to link this image to, let me go ahead and save this image. Let's go ahead and save this image in our desktop. Let's look for personal math trainer. There it is right there. And so let's name this as 4.mbt.4. And let's name it uh, personal math trainer. So we'll, and save now. You have to now you have the image now you have to copy this link up here at the top I'm gonna click on it once I'm gonna right click and copy so I just copied this link and the, and what I'm wanting to do is take that link and link it to that image for the students in canvas and so let's go ahead and do that and so I'm gonna go over to my canvas account and here is my canvas account my math course and I'll show you what my dashboard looks like so you can see that as well and so there's my dashboard and I'm going to create this in my math course and what I like to do is look at pages on the left and the region, reason I use pages and not assignments for the personal math trainer is I do not let's see if you all pages I do not um, want it to be graded I just want it to be practiced for the students so they can get instant feedback of their own work uh, and we do use journals to write everything in and then they um, then they insert their answers and insert their work. Um, so here's pages. I'm going to add a page. Let's make this page personal math trainer 4.t4. 
frequency 0.4. And it's addition and subtraction, so. And then I'm going to embed this image right here. Now this is this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over to images and then upload a new image, choose file, and then there's my personal math trainer right there. It's under the desktop in that folder. Click on it. I'm going to click on decorative image. I'm going to upload. And so now this is what the image looks like. And this is what I want my kids to see when they when they click on this page. But now I have to link this to that personal math trainer. So what I'm going to do is click on it once, go over here to this link to URL, click on it, I'm going to right click, and I'm gonna paste that link. And there's my link. And so then I will come down here and hit save. And then once I hit save, this is what it's gonna look like for the kids. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. Well, let me get out of this just to show you that it goes right back to the personal math trainer. Uh, so here's, I'm going to get out this personal math trainer and get out of this. I'm going to get back to my main screen for Think Central. And then I'm going to go back to Canvas. Uh, let me... So here is my pages screen. I'm going to view all pages. And then I'm going to scroll down to find personal math trainer, addition and subtraction two. There it is right there, we just created it. And now this is what the students will see. And so once they click on this page or this image, it will take them straight to the personal math trainer. They don't have to log in. Uh, you don't have to sit there and let them log in, but they can work on these practice problems on their own. Um, it's really neat because if they're having trouble, they can view an example. And so this will give them a step-by-step, -step how to estimate right here, step-by-step. -step. Well, not a step-by-step, -step, but they'll get a great example of what to do. And then you can look at step-by-step -step as well, and they can go through each problem step-by-step. -step. Round to the nearest hundred thousands, round to the nearest hundred thousands. You add that up and then check. And, but they still have to go and do the problem on their own before they get a check for each problem. They can also view the textbook. And so if you need them to view the textbook from this link, they can also do that as well. So here's the textbook. And so they can actually view the textbook as well without having to log in to Think Central. I hope this helped uh, with embedding the personal map trainer in Canvas LMS. Please like and comment and subscribe to my channel for future videos.